वेलकम टू अनुज क्लास रूम सो टुडे वी आर येट अगेन हियर विद एन अदर वीडियो एंड एज आई एम अपलोडिंग दिस वीडियो वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग विनायक चतुर्थी हियर इट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू आर हिंदू कस्टम्स वी बिलीव दैट टुडे इज द बर्थ ऑफ लॉर्ड विनायक का हु इज द ब्रिंगर ऑफ प्रॉस्पेरिटी एंड रिमूवर ऑफ ऑल ऑब्स्टिकल्स सो आई होप एंड आई प्रे फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज हु आर seeing my video and everyone that all uh, may god have whoever it is that you believe may god remove all the obstacles in your path towards your goals and may he bless you with all the prosperity and all happiness and peace and everything everything that is good for you so today uh, going ahead with our lesson we are talking about charting data in our previous classes we discussed about the importance of why we are learning this subject as business administrators we saw how to collect data and we saw how we can classify it today we are talking about how to present data as you might have heard it's a very famous proverb right a picture speaks a thousand words even if we are the ones who collected and organized the data every time going through a excel sheet having thousands or 10000s or millions of rows to find something out is not going to work we need some way of representing it in a picture format so that we can easily look at it and grasp the gist of it right so that is the presentation of data that is the importance of it so today and in our next lesson also we will be talking about this presentation of data okay so i have come here to you guys with a challenge actually see in statistics we gather data through surveying interviewing and all those things and we can display it in the form of graphs and charts right so uh, most of the graphs or charts we have we will be coming across in this would be already studied by us uh, maybe few would be new but most of them we might have already studied when we were in school or in college or maybe we would have come across them and we would have known about them okay so i want you guys so today i'm challenging you guys to a little quiz okay i show you a few slides and uh, they'll have these graphs and charts and all what i want you to do is uh, comment down against each uh, graph uh, or you, uh, the number slide number what graph it is okay so this is just a refresher quiz just to uh, just to give ourselves an idea where we are right now standing so that we can work on it better okay so <clears throat> this is a very first chart okay so what is this graph called is it a pie chart or a dot plot a histogram or a bar diagram what is it i want you guys to comment down okay in the, below the video uh, at any point of time if you need more time to look at the graph please pause this video okay and once you are okay with it uh, play it again okay now moving on what would this be oh oh it looks it looks like a so what it looks like a few slices of something a cake maybe a pie what is it what is this graph called is it a box and whisker plot or a donut graph or a pie chart pictogram what is it uh moving on to our next graph i hope you guys have jotted down your answers okay take a pen and paper jot down your answers and once you are done once you are done with the quiz post them in the comments okay what is this we have a few people arranged the picture looks like a few people but the people are of different colors a few of them are brown or orange what do we call this color and a few of them are gray so what is this what do we call this a pictogram a dot plot or a pie chart or a line graph what is it i hope you've got your answer if not pause the video okay 
and uh, once you are uh, once you have done write, writing the answer play back moving on what is this graph called okay i can see that there are a lot of dots and those dots are connected with lines and the entire thing entire setup is arranged in a graph it has two axes so what would this be is it a pictogram is it an ogive pie chart or a histogram what do you think this would be called next question what is this graph called okay i can see that there are a lot of different sizes of rectangles and looks like uh, at the midpoint we are marking the midpoint of each of those rectangles and we are connecting them through a uh, using a line okay so what would this be is it a rectangle graph is it a bar chart is it a pie chart is it a frequency polygon okay there are a lot of rectangles over here but there are a lot of connecting lines also from the midpoint so what would this be called once you got the answer write it down okay and we are moving ahead with our next question okay so what is this graph called okay similar to the other one the previous one this graph is also a bunch of rectangles of different sizes some are taller some are shorter that is clubbed together so what would this be called is it a bar chart is it a histogram is it a pie chart is it a dot plot i can't see any dots over here so maybe we can rule out dot plot oops did i just give you a hint okay no worries so i hope you got the answer for this if not pause the video okay once you are done play it back so how was it were you able to find the answers for all these six questions all these six types of graphs did you find out what they are called whatever you've got for each of those six graphs comment your answers down below uh, keep learning keep uh, working hard working smart and we'll together as our mba right we'll be the most eligible business administrators in town once we are done with this mba course right we'll be in the employable lot of our skilled um, uh, skilled graduates correct so all the power to you guys we'll see you in the next video